Hello again, everyone. It's Anne Frost, the host of the I Thought I Knew How podcast, coming back to you to do another how-to video using our Fair Isle style swatch cuff, which you should be able to find. Um, I will actually put a link to that in the show notes on the YouTube page. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to have this yet, but it should be available at uh, I thought I knew how dot family podcasts.com. I'll put it in the I thought I knew how uh, Ravelry group and Facebook group, and it should it'll probably turn up in the Pearl Together discussion thread for Mac and for the MRI, which is the knit along that is starting on January 1st, 2020. This pattern is I designed to help you learn and practice some Fair Isle techniques before you start the knit along and also as a project to help you uh, swatch and end up with something useful. So we have a heart motif in the middle. We have a couple of dragons or Viking boat tops or seahorses on the side of that. And then these stitches here can go on the inside of your wrist. And if you are doing the cowl pattern, you can use this to uh, practice a steek before you need to steek the cowl. All the patterns that are included in the knit along coming up are available at mrimackers.com. And the sale of those patterns benefit the Shetland MRI Scanner Appeal, which is a charity that is trying to raise $2 million or 1.65 million pounds to purchase an MRI scanner for the people of Shetland. Oh, all of that said, I wanted to do a really quick, really quick video actually for you talking about a fair isle cuff so this is um, my take on the fingerless gloves pattern i did it in two colors but i want to focus here on the cuff this is called a fair isle cuff and that's because you get this extra bit of fair isle that covers uh, the traditional ribbed cuff underneath. So how do we do that? It does give you instructions in the pattern on how to work this cuff, but I wanted to just show you so you can see what it means. And basically what you do when it when you have the cuff knit, so imagine this is this, okay? The cast on edge of this is actually here. And this edge, the turning edge, would be the edge that you are working when it's time to do this trick. So in order to get this effect, when you get to this point, you just invert your knitting like that. And now this, for the remainder of your knitting, for the remainder of the project, this is your right side. So you are going to, here are your working yarns. You're going to start working that way as you normally would, even though if I turn this back, you'd see it actually would be time for you to work on this needle. But with a Fair Isle cuff, you flip it through and you're going to work that way. Now you might say to yourself, uh, hey, I'm gonna end up with a little hole there. That's totally okay. Because as you can see, there's that little hole right there, but it falls right on the fold. So unless you're looking for it, you really don't see it. It's not in an area that people are going to see. If it bothers you, you can go back with a bit of scrap yarn and close it up, but really it's incredibly unnoticeable. So I just wanted to show you how that works in case there was any confusion. Again, all you're doing is pushing the work through. So that's how you start. You push the work through and then you continue working around in the normal direction that you knit. And this is now your right side. Okay, good luck everybody. I'm looking forward to seeing your work. Make sure that you use the hashtag, hashtag Mackin for the MRI so that people can follow your progress on social media. And make sure that you get over to the Pearl Together Ravelry group. When you post uh, progress photos over there before January 31st, you are entered into various prize drawings uh, for progress prizes. And if you finish by January 31st, you're entered into a drawing for a very large and generous 
uh, grand prize, as well as some gift certificates and pattern downloads and yarn from some of our sponsors. So be sure that you jump over there. Okay, thanks everyone. Bye-bye.